Welcome back, High Level Hustlers. Today we're going to go over how to replace the Miss Call Text Back feature that is already included inside of High Level with a bot so that we can actually have a conversation with somebody while we're away, while we're working, doing something else. We've missed the phone call. Obviously, we can't get in and start texting them either. So, how do we have a bot do that for us? Check it out. Okay, so just to be clear, this video is gonna talk about how to replace that missed call text back with a texting bot. The next video in this series will actually be how to replace that missed call text back feature with the voice AI bot, so that rather than even going into a missed call and then a text goes out, an AI bot is going to answer the phone call for you and talk to your customer. So be sure to click on the video up in the corner over here to be able to check that out and let's get started on building an actual AI texting bot. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is we wanna disable the missed call text back feature that's already going on inside of high level. So we're gonna come down here to settings and business profile. This is where it used to be. You'll see actually right here looking for missed call text back settings. Just click this, it's gonna take us to the phone, okay? Now that we're here in the phone, in the advanced settings, here's the voicemail and the missed call text back. So we're gonna click on that and we're going to disable this. Now that that is disabled, let's go create the workflow that's gonna give us our bot. So we're gonna go back, let's head over to automation. And then here's a little tip here, we're gonna create the workflow. We're actually gonna select a recipe because High Level has already created this workflow kind of for us. The workflow is down here at the bottom right here, recipe, auto miss call text back. So we're gonna select this recipe. Now we already have our trigger built. Most of this is already done for us, okay? So trigger is, call direction is incoming, the call status is busy, voicemail or no answer. We're gonna give it a slight delay so that it doesn't seem so much like a bot. We wanna assign it to a user. We want to add the tag that there's a missed call. And then right here, SMS to lead. Right here it says, hey there, sorry I missed your call. How can we help? We want to replace this with a bot. We still want this push notification. You have a missed call from this phone number. Please reach out to them ASAP before the lead gets cold. Also a text that goes out to them. So they're getting an internal notification inside a high level and they're getting a text message to their phone. So let's delete this step. And now we're gonna add in the Conversation AI. Conversation AI, this is gonna be a text message, okay? We're gonna turn on the bot auto configurations. We're gonna talk about these three fields in just a second, but we want this to time out maybe after two hours. The channel is gonna be SMS. Um, skip this action if already answered. So if they've already answered the question, then we can skip it the bot response limit maybe five times, and then wait time 10 seconds is great, okay? So how do you know what to put in these sections here? This is where I go over to ChatGPT. ChatGPT is great. So this user that requested this video runs a landscaping business. So I put in the prompt here, I'm programming a new Go High Level Conversation AI bot to replace the standard missed call text back functionality gonna disable the standard feature, then create a workflow with the trigger call status and the filters to be incoming with the call status busy, voicemail or no answer. Ask me 10 questions that will help you better fulfill the request of writing for me the contents to put in the personality, additional instructions and questions field in the bot. So then it gives me these 10 questions. It wants to know the brand and voice, audience, industry context, what's the goal, personality traits, objection handling, all of these things, okay? So I took the time to go ahead and answer each one of these questions. And then it gave me back exactly what I need to put in here. Personality, additional instructions, and questions. And then gave me some how to use here. But I said, you know what? This is actually a texting bot, not a voice AI bot. Cause I could tell that it was like the voice section, right? right? I, I, I wanted to make sure that we were getting this for a texting bot. And then I said, what branches and conditions? Cause right here we have different branches and conditions. So then it gives me a updated bot that's text friendly and then gives me a whole bunch of branches. And I was like, no, no, no. Okay, I need to simplify this. I don't wanna create an entire different conversation bot for each branch. This needs to be a simple catch all that just notifies someone that there's potential customer to reach out to. So it gives me a new one. But the greeting is, hi there, thanks for texting our landscape company. Sorry we missed your call. So I'm seeing that 
ChatGPT is still not quite getting what I what I need to do here. So I'm like, okay. Um, to clarify, this bot sends a text back to someone that the business missed a call from. So the greeting should acknowledge the missed call and ask how they can help them. So then, boom, it gives me this a new personality conversation catch all, but it doesn't quite give it to me in the in a copy paste. So I was like, okay, this is perfect. Please give me exactly what I need to copy and paste into the personality, additional instructions, and question boxes of the bot. So boom, here we go. So let's go ahead and copy this. And we're gonna paste it right here in the personality. And then let's go to the additional instructions. And then we're gonna come here to the questions. Oh, I need to make sure I get all of it. Boom, and then we're gonna have, we're gonna add another condition here. We're gonna say, um, gave um, name and, uh, um, gave, gave name and inquiry, okay? The customer gave their name and possibly a question. We need to notify, uh, no, actually, just that. They gave their name and possibly a question or any other information. So now we have the three branches here, no condition met, timeout, and gave the inquiry. So now, honestly, at this point, it's kind of up to the client and what they want to do. Maybe they want to have something else happen once they give their name and what they're looking for, something else that happens when it times out, something else that happens when there's no condition met at all. So that's going to be up to the customer to decide what they want to do here. But to be honest, what's going to end up happening is the customer is going to come through here. The business owner is going to get a notification. The chatbot's going to have a conversation with them. And then honestly... It doesn't need anything else to automate down here because the owner is going to jump into the conversation at this point. Give them a call back, text them back their, the answers to their questions, all kinds of things. Once you've got this all built, anytime you build any kind of an AI bot, the first thing you need to do is test, test, test. So once you have this built, call. Make sure no one answers. See what the bot does. Interact with it. Ask some other people to do the same thing. Make sure you test this. And as you find things that you don't like, come in here and in the additional instructions, you're just gonna add additional lines. That's gonna say, if the customer says, you know, whatever, then do this. And then another line, if the customer says this, then do this. You're going to find things that you like, that you don't like. Make sure that you go in here and give it additional instructions based on your testing. Never push a new bot like this live to customers without extensive testing. So now that you've got that, congratulations. You've now replaced the Miss Call Text Back feature with an automated texting bot. That's awesome. Now, once you've got it tested, you push this live. If you have any other questions on how to do this, make sure you put them in the comments below. If you're looking for the video on how to do this with the voice AI bot, make sure you check out the other video and then make sure you like and subscribe so that you can catch all the future videos that are gonna come out and we'll see you next time.